Hello everyone, my name is Sean B. Martin, and this is the next episode of World Editing. And what just happened to that? Did you see it like blink out for a second? It was like, I don't want to be part of this video. I'm just going to disappear for a second. And uh, this is, uh, I I'm running out of topics to, to talk about, and people have lots of suggestions, but I don't really know how to make an episode out of it. So I'm going to start taking things like kind of one by one. Okay, so one thing that people like doing in Minecraft is making a tiled floor. I'm going to take this very small section, two by two section, the simplest tile section that you could make, and I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. Now, one way you can make a tiled floor is by selecting this and then stacking it that way and then you could expand your selection to encompass the whole thing and then stack it that way and that's easy but another way you could accomplish that is by doing this and I'm gonna go way over here I'm just gonna place a block here for to make it easy now I have this whole area selected and that pig is about to get in trouble I'm going to set that entire area as my clipboard and you use you have to use that little pound symbol there and we now have a giant section of tiled floor and now you notice I took a 2d selection <laughs> it's messed up there because the way I did it uh, I, I took a 2d selection and I basically kept it 2d it's just one it's just one deep but just to show you that you don't need to do that I'm going to expand it for up so I now have four blocks above it selected, and I'm just going to do the same thing. And see, there you go. Now, obviously, they're not they're not cross hatched the other direction as well because again, I started with a two two D selection. If I started with a two by two by two block, uh, this would be different. Now, another way you can play with that is doing stuff like this. Let's say I want to apply that selection to this structure. I want to change all the stone in the structure to be that that selection that I made of the tiled floor. So the way you would do that is you would replace all the stone, which is one, with the clipboard. Again, don't forget your little pound symbol there. And there we go. Pretty cool? Pretty cool. Okay, so you can do set, you can do replace, basically you can do the normal functions, you just use clipboard instead of a, an ID or a word or whatever. But the other thing you can do is a brush. So I, I am I am going to make this a 2x2x2 two by two by two just to make this a little more demonstrative. And there we go, I selected that, now I will copy it. Now what I will do is I'll take my stick here and I'm going to apply it to a brush. And if any of this seems unfamiliar or I'm overloading you with information, go back to the previous world editing episodes and I will I will teach you all of this at a at a slower pace. <laughs> but right now we're going to do brush and we're going to do clipboard. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I guess I don't need a pound symbol for that brush. <laughs> I'm so sorry game. It yelled at me. So now we have a brush that is the clipboard. And if I click, it's just going to put it, it's going to center it where I put it and then go down like so. Um, now, of course, I could mask this just like you can mask any brush. So say I want to just mask the sand, which is ID 12. Then I could click here. And if I click any dirt, it's not going to do anything. But if I click around the sand, of course, it'll replace just the sand. And it's kind of, it's not going to tile it exactly unless you're really precise with the way you're placing it because it's specific to where you're right clicking. But uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's how you use the brush with a clipboard. Another thing you can do with the clipboard, and this is still selected, so I'm going to stand right here and I'm going to type copy. You can flip the clipboard. You can flip it upside down. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do flip up and it will now be upside down and I'm going to stand here and I'm going to type paste and there we go. You can see that it has this block is on top. This block is on the bottom. Now let's, uh, let's go apply that somewhere on a larger scale. Okay, I'm going to do something potentially dangerous. Keep in mind that you should always make frequent backups of your worlds. You never know what something like World Edit is going to do to them if you're not careful, or if you select something the wrong way, or you mistype something. You should just be 
careful. Be careful. <laughs> I don't I don't want to be responsible for <laughs> you losing your world. All right, I'm going to do a trick here. Uh, I haven't shown you that you can do this before, but I'm going to expand this 20, and then I'm going to do up and down. You can use a comma for directions the same way that you can for IDs. So I've now expanded 20 in each direction. I am going to stand right here in the middle and kill this pig. Arr! Yes, thank you. Now I'm going to copy. I've copied 41,000 blocks. Again, be careful. Please be careful. I'm going to fly over here. Let's see what height I'm at. 91. Let's go a little closer to 100. Now I am going to, <laughs> some of you already see what's about to happen. I'm going to flip that selection upside down and I'm going to paste it right here. Now if I look up, yeah, that's about what I was expecting. <laughs> so what have we learned? Uh, we've learned that the selection did not expand below ground as much as I thought it would. Did it expand down at all? Or did it only expand up? Well, regardless, we've learned how to select something and turn it upside down. And, uh, oh, okay, so grass is a problem. Because grass is obviously only going to be on top. So it just looks look like dirt from below. But the point is proven you could flip an entire mountain upside down if you wanted to. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I got kicked off because <laughs> I uh, must have done something bad. I also realized why the uh, s selection did not go 20 down. It did. Uh, I'm too close to the ceiling. It, it couldn't paste anything above 128. That was my problem. So yeah, my bad that I'm just uh, I'm erasing this nonsense now. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any ideas for a world editing tutorial, I would love to know what they are. I am trying to do this incorrectly. There we go, okay. Um, I would love to uh, feature smaller ideas. I think that's what I need to center on now that I've accomplished all the major things. So if you've got an idea, please leave a comment, send me a message, let me know somehow, and I will try to oblige you. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Whoa!